Okay, let's get everything now. We have already in the postings with cost center. This the postings of actual values to record the and now using cost and plan we can learn how to post plan values same causes or departments so that the variance can be calculated by system automatically. So we're going to cover how to enter the plan values under this topic cost center planning. We have to come to accounting, controlling, cost center accounting, planning, and close this. Planning, cost center budgets, and click on each. Right? Change. And uh, this is a default profile. You can create a um, custom profiles if you want, but if any of the profiles suffi is suffice, you can just make use of that. You can enter the uh, but uh, plan values by the cost center group or by the individual cost center is a good practice to enter by the cost center standard which is also known as a cost center group so that you can see all the cost centers under one roof let's enter sun is the standard hierarchy that we have for all, all of cost centers all right so under the cost center group sun cost center group and the standard hierarchy refers to the same thing as i shown you in the earlier chapters Cost center group is also known as standard hierarchy. So both refers to the same object. Yes, under the cost center hierarchy of sun, we have all these uh, cost centers. So you can start enter enter the plan values by year. Currently it is by year, so you enter the totals for the year, or you can also enter the plan values by period. To do so, just click so that one to twelve periods is listed for you for this year 2009 you can enter individual values individual plan values for each and every period otherwise you can just go back you can click this do the same thing the same thing like double clicking you will come to this page what you are seeing here is that uh, plan values entered for year 2008 which is the past year alright the currency always defaulted to the controlling area currency because you already defined the controlling area currency as USD that's why it's shown here now I'm going to show you how to enter the plan values by period let's enter for department 1 first department 1 our plan value is supposed to be 5000 so we have two options you can enter 5000 for as a total for the year or alternatively you can double click so that it's distributed, the 5000 distributed for each and every period. You can also change it. So the total change accordingly. See this? Alright. See the total has changed because you entered 500 just now. Uh, let's enter 600. See how the total changes. go back see otherwise you can just enter 5000 as a yearly total and uh, department 1 2 3 5000 5000 7000 so 1 2 3 department 2 is 5000 I'm going to enter department 2 5000 and department 3 7000 Okay, and uh, are we done? Department 4 is 1000. Okay, something to learn about this distribution key. DK stands for distribution key. If you enter 0, then you can uh, change the period values manually by double clicking this. But if you enter 1, then the period values will be overwritten the manually entered period values will be overwritten and uh, this total amount will be divided by 12 to come up with the individual period values let's double click see everything is evenly distributed if you want to change a particular period value to something else the distribution key will automatically change to zero because you can change you see this it's automatically changed to zero because 
if you want to change the PD values manually the distribution key has to be 0 let's look at this manual distribution equal distribution alright so if you change this to 1 before that let me show you so with 0 then the 700 is intact here for period 5 if I change this to 1 and then you double click the 700 will revert back to uh, equal distribution which is by dividing the total amount you entered earlier by 12 so you can decide accordingly uh, I'm going to change this to 5000 and double click so 416 so equal distribution alright so just bear in mind if you want to use period period values different period values just change this to uh, 0 and then go ahead and change the period values otherwise the annual total that you entered here will be divided by 12 if the distribution key is 1 now save this and we are done with the cost center planning values ok let's go and look at our report see if the variance has been will be calculated information systems reports for cost center report cost center accounting plan actual values cost actual plan variance always choose this report if you want to look at the variance all right now leave it as it is we want to look at the dip all the departments at the hierarchy level so leave it as sun execute Okay, uh, the plan cost is still empty. I think I would need to apologize on something. Uh, when we enter the plan values in the budget just now, over here, change budget planning. This is actually meant for budgeting and not planning there is a great difference between planning and budgeting planning is actually you estimate the cost or expenditure for a department but the uh, actual expenditure can exceed the plan planned values whereas budgeting is actually you set a limit on the total expenditure for a department so if there is uh, any expenditure or commitment the system will track the actual ex expenditure and commitment and make sure it is within the budget budgeted amount so you don't exceed the budgeted amount so the difference between planning and budgeting is that the actual expenditure can exceed for plan planning and for budgeting the actual expenditure cannot exceed the the budgeted amount so once you have set the budgeted amount here it is wrong to go and look at this report to see the budgeted amount it won't show up sorry about that I mean over here this report the budgeted amount won't show up here because this is planning plan amount so I will show you how to which uh, data entry screen to enter the plan amount so that it can show here in the meantime let us complete the budgeted amount topic so once you have entered the budgeted amount I will show you wh which report you can see the comparison it is under the information systems in uh, cost center accounting cost and accounting information systems go to more reports and go to actual budget commitments report and execute this you can see the actual amount spent and the budget amount that we enter and uh, 
commitment column commitment is uh, is any what you call expenditure which you have ordered but it has not been delivered yet something like uh, you issue a purchase order you issue a purchase order to a vendor so any amount in the purchase order will be noted as a commitment which means you have committed to a cost but it has not been delivered yet so once the purchase order has been uh, 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 delivered and invoiced the commitment will be converted to actual expenditure so as to zero rise the commitment amount so since we don't have any purchase orders yet so the commitment amount remains zero but the commitment amount will be added up to actual to compare against the budgeted amount to look at uh, to derive the available budget that can be spent okay so since we don't have a purchase order yet this commitment amount is zero but the thing that you have to remember is the assigned the assigned column which will show what is the used up budget will derive its value by adding actual to commitment so the available budget is shown here so out of uh, 10000 budgeted 3000 has been used up which is shown here used up values and uh, balance budget is shown here as available 7000 but there is a problem here if we can recall the budgeted amount that we entered what we entered is not this what we entered is for department 2 we have entered only 5000 but for department 2 is showing 10000 which means that whatever amount that we have entered here is actually multiplied by 2 and shown here as budget but I am not sure why it is doing that actually it should show it should not multiply by 2 I will find out more about this why the system is doing it and then update you in the next topic so but for time being just bear in mind that whatever amount that you enter in the budgeted budget uh, screen which is KPZ2 it will be shown in this report as budgeted amount and you can track how much amount is spent together with the commitment to see what is the budget budgeted amount which is used up up until now so that you can see the available balance budget so this is different from planning which I was trying to show you just now so for planning we have to go to this report here okay no not, not, not this report over here to check the planned amount I'll let you know which screen to use to input the plan amount shortly. Let me create a new topic here as cost center budget and update this video to that. Cost center budgeting. Right? 